welcome to my channel on the best of fantasy. These are the weeks that were, are, and shall be. <laughs> I'd like to begin by thanking all of you people who have bought and reviewed and of course read the Edan trilogy thus far. The first two books are out, The Way of Edan and The Prophet of Edan. And I could not be happier with the reception. I am just so grateful to all of you uh, who have uh, taken up these books and um, given me feedback. And it's just so tremendous to have that as a writer. Uh, I must say that one of the most gratifying feelings is to have someone reach out to you and say, hey, this part of your book I really connected with or I enjoyed this read or whatever it might be. I just think it's so wonderful to be in this place right now. And I'm so thankful for those of you who have written reviews on Amazon and on Goodreads and on Twitter. Uh, the Prophet of Eden has had a couple dedicated reviews. The first on Booktube was by Joanna. And uh, in addition to the fact that it has one of the coolest thumbnails ever, where Joanna is shooting Almakti out of her own hand <laughs> in, in pretty good imitation of uh, Sequara here. Uh, it is a great, great review. It is very insightful, of course. I would expect no less from Joanna, but I just love hearing her insights into my writing. And it's, it's like, it comes alive when someone like Joanna gives her thoughts. Uh, so for me, it's just so tremendous and I'm so grateful. Also, another dedicated review was by Big Al from the channel Big Al Does Booktube. I, I really feel very strongly that uh, his is a channel that should have way more subscribers. I don't know why the word hasn't gotten out about Big Al, but Big Al does booktube, great channel. He does really insightful short reviews among other things. He tends to keep his videos on the shorter side, which a lot of people like these days, uh, but great insights, uh, very smart fella. So check out his channel if you haven't yet. Big Al does booktube. Uh, also, I really, it's not a, a review per se, but I was so thrilled to have my uh, books, the Edan Trilogy thus far, uh, mentioned in a video on Do Unicorns Read, that is Angela's channel, where she did a video on men writing great female characters. And what a thrill when she mentioned uh, the Eden Trilogy in that video. So go and check out that great video because there's, it's spoiler free. And uh, she mentioned some other writers that I'm very happy to be in company with uh, in that video. So really wonderful stuff. Uh, I could not be happier. And um, yeah, I've also seen uh, the Prophet of Eden mentioned in uh, some TBR videos and some mid-year freak out tags and stuff like that. I, I just wanna say I'm so grateful for anyone and everyone who mentions my books in these videos. It's just a huge help and uh, it's an honor and I'm so grateful. Um, and I, I've mentioned before, I've put out announcements about reviews in Grimdark Magazine by the amazing John Mauro and uh, also Silverstone's blog had uh, a review uh, just uh, really tremendous stuff. Uh, so I'm very happy with uh, things thus far on the publishing front. And I will tell you that there is great progress on book three. We are on track for Return to Edan to be out on September 21. And I'm really excited. I'm almost done, almost done with my edits and formatting and stuff. So that part uh, is definitely going to be done within, I would say probably four or five days. And then there's the cover, which is nearly there. And we are continuing, of course, with the stained glass window motif. And uh, I, I think I can say this, uh, there is going to be a new character, a character who's new to the trilogy, who will appear on the cover of book three. And I hope, very much hope, that this character will become a new favorite for many readers. It's a character that I personally love very much. Uh, so we'll see. We shall see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, I feel like we're in a good place right now. 
Now on the channel, I've had some episodes of Dear Dr. Fantasy. There was one with, speaking of John Morrow, he was gracious enough to come on the channel and had a great time chatting with him. You can see in the thumbnail, he is uh, channeling Jorg from the Broken Empire trilogy. And he is, of course, like me, a huge fan of Mark Lawrence, but also a, a, a very accomplished individual. And uh, yeah, it was just a great, insightful discussion. Very smart individual. And I had another episode with Dear Dr. Fantasy with Chaz, a great friend here on BookTube. Uh, I've been in several videos with Chaz. I've been on his channel. He's now been on my channel, I believe, three times at least. But it was great to just sit down one-on-one -on -one with him for Dear Dr. Fantasy and hear his insights, his talk about his favorites, and the, the usual things that we do on Dear Dr. Fantasy. And I had another episode of DDF with Dan from Dan Explorers Books. What a great time. What a, a fantastic booktuber guy he is. He does his own thing, and I totally love that. Big Malazan reader. Uh, he's doing a sort of a very kind of, as, as he is inspired, he will make a video on, say, a chapter of Malazan, wherever he happens to be, which is, I think he's, he's getting closer to the end of the series. Uh, but uh, he's been doing a great job of sharing his insights on Malazan, but he's also read some other fantasy, and he's very widely read in general. But a fun guy, a lot of fun, a very funny person. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm so glad I got a chance to sit down with Dan and, and chat. And I had on the channel some uh, great discussions with Murphy. Uh, we had our wrap-up of Vagabond, which is among my very favorite reads of the year, especially that ending, just so moving, so beautiful, uh, so emotional. And uh, we have started our read of a Monster. Our next manga read is Monster, and we are well into that now. Uh, uh, as I speak, the fourth discussion has been released on my channel, so I'm, I'm featuring the even-numbered uh, bind-ups or volumes, whatever you want to call it, the Perfect Edition, which has uh, basically combines two of the original volumes into one, so there are nine uh, bind-ups or volumes in the Perfect Edition as opposed to the 18 in the original form. Uh, so yeah, we, we're having a great time with that. And uh, that, that will continue, our discussions will continue to be released throughout the course of the summer. And we also had a chance, by the way, in the first discussion to talk to Patrick, and he will be also in the last discussion, a wrap up of Monster. So it is so great to have Patrick in there a bit as well. And uh, what else I had, uh, I had some two, uh, two other great friends over for a discussion of Sword of the Lictor, book three of Book of the New Sun by Gene Wolfe. I'm enjoying this, I, I, I'm challenged. I'm constantly challenged by Gene Wolfe's writing in Book of the New Sun. I don't know what's going on much of the time and that's okay. I'm actually fine with that. It's, it's kind of a neat thing to be bamboozled for much of the time and to be curious about what's going on. Uh, so I am very eager to get to the end of Book of New Sun with the final book, Citadel of the Otark. And that's going to be very interesting. Uh, that's something probably that will, that discussion will probably be out in uh, September, I'm guessing, based on the way my summer is going and travel plans and other things. Uh, so, but I'm very eager certainly to get to the end of that. And uh, also a couple other videos I had on the channel, the, my summer TBR, if you want to know what I'm hoping to get done <laughs> this summer, and uh, some of my favorites from the first half of 2023. That's a, a video that a lot of people do. I don't do the mid-year freakout tag myself. I've uh, enjoyed watching lots of people's versions of that tag. I decided to just do, just talk about my favorites so far, because I love talking about the books that move me in so many ways. And uh, the books that I mentioned on, in that video are the ones that really got me, either up here or down here, or a combination of those things. Uh, books that make me think deeply, books that uh, bring me on an incredible emotional journey, uh, books that challenge me. And so, yeah, I, I enjoyed uh, discussing those in that particular video. Elsewhere on BookTube, I was on an episode of Chatting with Nuts. It is always so wonderful to connect with my good friend, Jimmy. Uh, what a wonderful person. What a fantastic 
community he has formed just around that one aspect of his channel, Chatting with Nuts. I feel like it's our, our communal pub, if you will, here in our corner of BookTube. Such a great place. Everyone in the chat is so wonderful. And Jimmy is the consummate host. He is just the, uh, a really great community builder. And so I really appreciate uh, every time I'm able to chat with Jimmy. And I also appeared on a, uh, an episode of Britain's Hangout Hour. Uh, that was a lot of fun as well. Britain is a much smaller channel, but uh, I'm sure he will be growing. And it's always fun to connect with new people on this platform. There are so many uh, great new channels out there. I cannot keep up with all of them or all of their content. I, that is a regret of mine, but I just don't have enough time in the day to do it all. But I, I, I try my best to connect with new people and this was a lot of fun chatting with Britain. And I was in a discussion on Grace's channel, Grace Dion, on the Hod King. Uh, so that it was a really great discussion with the gang that is reading, that's Johan from Library of Viking, and that is of course Alan from Library of Alexandria, and Ben from Overly Average Ben, and of course Grace I mentioned, she was hosting this one. Uh, I'm so glad I'm reading that series, Books of Babel, and I'm very excited for the final book. I know it's a little controversial that uh, some people, some of my friends, it wasn't their favorite, uh, and others are definitely Huge fans, so I'm very curious to see where I will fall uh, for the final book in the Books of Babel. But I'm ready for that. I am so ready for that. And I was also in a wonderful discussion with A.P. Canavan, the nemesis himself, on his channel, A Critical Dragon, on reading with critical analysis in mind. And I hope that doesn't sound too highfalutin, uh, because it was actually a really great discussion. I had a fun time chatting with A.P. about that about how enriching it can be, uh, if that is something you're interested in, to approach books with critical analysis in mind. And there are definitely some books that are more conducive to that than others, um, but that is just one other way to really enjoy what you're reading. And what else did I do here on BookTube? Oh, I crashed a discussion. Speaking of Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy was a guest of Jordan's on iWizard. A wonderful channel, if you don't know it. Jordan is a very, very smart and very well-read individual. Very up on his philosophy and uh, just very widely read as well. But uh, he had Jimmy over. I've been over on his channel myself, um, but uh, he had a chat with Jimmy and uh, I crashed it uh, along with Joanna and Alan. And so we all just sort of showed up in the middle of <laughs> their discussion, which was really one of the most... I, enjoyable discussions I've, I've been in. So uh, if you haven't seen that video, check it out on iWizard. And also I was in another discussion with the nemesis, the guy just won't leave me alone. <laughs> uh, uh, AP's channel, A Critical Dragon. This one was on Forge of the High Mage by Ian C. Esselmont. Fantastic book. I, I really loved being back in the Malazan world and uh, getting some more backstory on some of my favorite characters and encountering those usual Malazan themes. And Esselmont really pulled it off with this one, in my opinion. So what else? Uh, what am I up to now? What am I doing? Well, I just brought one book here because it's a heavy one. I didn't feel like bringing any more. I'm almost done with Ships of Marrier, which is actually... So the way this is, uh, and the hardcover edition, it's Ships of Marrier and Warhost of Vastmark, which, by the way, Jenny Wirtz herself, I think, considers to be really one story, uh, but they are divided into two, and I'm just reading Ships of Marrier, not Warhost of Vastmark, so about half of this big boy right here, and wow, 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 I'm almost done, and enjoying it so much, just the richness of the prose alone is something that I feel like I'm being steeped in beauty and insight. And I, I'm beginning to see more and more the intricacy of this world that Jenny Words has created, and I'm loving it. Uh, so I'm very excited that I will be in a discussion on Ships of Marrier with Joanna and AP, and that will be out fairly soon, I believe. Uh, in fact, while you're watching this, perhaps I'll be discussing the uh, Ships of Marrier with AP and Joanna. So that's going to be on Joanna's channel, so be on the lookout for that. 
And uh, what else am I going to be reading? Well, after uh, I finish with Ships of Marrier, which is probably going to be today, I am going to be continuing with some of my other reads. I'm in so many buddy reads right now, but I'm actually getting close to finishing. In addition to that, I am doing my SPFBO reads, and I do know, I'm not saying which one it is, but I do know what uh, one of my semifinalists is going to be, and I will be releasing a review within, I would say, 10 days or so of that book. I'm very excited to gush about it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be, my plan is to release five reviews of semifinalists from among my 30. And from those five, I'm going to pick one candidate to be a finalist of the 10 total finalists in SPFBO. And I'm excited. I'm very excited uh, to continue reading my 30 books and eventually to read the other nine finalists in that wonderful contest. In case you don't know, SPFBO, uh, the self-published fantasy blog off is a contest for self-published fantasy. It is something that was founded by Mark Lawrence, the author, in order to shed light on great self-published fantasy. And it has more than accomplished that goal at this point. It is a mainstay, a very important part of the self-published and indie fantasy community. And so I'm very happy to be a judge uh, in that contest. Oh, and other things I'm reading and working on. Uh, let's see. I mentioned Ships of Marrier, SPFBO. I'm going to be reading the first eight issues of Sandman and talking about that uh, Neil Gaiman classic uh, with Varsha from Reading by the Rainy Mountain. We will continue through the entirety of the Sandman or Sandman. I can forget if there's an article in that title or not. But Sandman, I'm so excited to be getting into that. Uh, I'm also going to be finishing Jade War, and uh, I'm going to be. I mentioned Citadel of the Otark already. Uh, Robin Hobbs Rainwilds Chronicles. I need to get to at least two of those in July, and I'm going to be uh, on vacation, so I'm going to have an opportunity to do way more reading. Uh, and I'm pretty confident I'll be able to uh, finish the first two books in Raid Wilds in the latter half of July. And what else? Uh, I'll follow Babel, of course. I mentioned that as well. The uh, last book in the Books of Babel, I'm probably forgetting something or other, but those are the things I'm going to be working on finishing for the summer. So yeah, that is what I'm... Oh yes, Stoner! I'm going to be reading Stoner. And oh, and A Drowned Kingdom. Yes, how can I forget those? Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, those are two more that I'm hoping to get to by the end of the summer. A Drowned Kingdom by the wonderful P.L. Stewart. And also Stoner. Uh, by John Williams, and I'm going to be in a discussion on Stoner with a bunch of people. Uh, <laughs> Murphy Napier is going to be reading it as well, and I think she's going to be hosting the discussion. Uh, but she was uh, wrestled into reading this, like myself, by Joanna and uh, Jimmy and Alan. And so I think maybe the five of us will be getting together to discuss that. And speaking of that crew, I think we're also going to have a discussion about the Prophet of Edan at some point, perhaps in late August, early September, sometime prior to the release of Return to Edan. So many great discussions happening, and I am so excited for all of them and for my interactions with you guys. Thank you so much again for all of your support. That's it from me for now. Until next time.